What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land, and I'm here with Human Fall Flat. We got a new level on Xbox called Port. It's got four new achievements. I'm gonna run you through the level and show you how to get all the achievements. So it's a free new level, part of the extra dreams. So just pick the level and start it up. You're gonna land in this cage that we need to get out of. There's a hole that we can climb out of. We just need a barrel from this other room. So just grab one from over here and then drag it backwards. Try not to let it fall over. And then put it in front of the hole. And then we're going to climb up and climb through. There we go. We're going to need to swing on these lanterns across to the other side. Just put your hands up and then jump. And then swing across. And then climb up over here. And once you get to the top, we're going to go to the right through this hallway. In here, make your first left. And then make a right, and then a left again, and then we need to swing across lanterns again, and make it to the other side. So swing here, jump to this side, and then swing across again, and then we're going to go to the right, and there's going to be this wall here that we just need to break through. Just pull some out, then you can push your way through, and then drop down. Then go up the stairs to the door, and take off the board that's locking it. Now we can open it up. Alright, now just go inside. And uh, we need to get a gear to lower this bridge. So the gear is inside this house here. So go inside, there's an ax. We're gonna take this ax and break the door down. The gear is inside. So just keep hitting the door with the ax until it eventually breaks and you can get through. And you can drop the ax and go inside and grab the gear and then take it outside. Now take the gear over this way to this green thing, open it up, and then we're going to put the gear inside. You just got to hold it in front of this thing here and it will snap on. Like that. And then you can hit the switch, pull it down, and that will lower the bridge so we can go across. Now we need to climb up this tree and grab this wheel out of it. So just climb and then jump at it and just hold on to it and swing until it falls off. There we go. Now take it over this way. And we're going to put it on this thing. Again, it should just snap on. So just hold it in front of it until it snaps on. There we go. Once it's on, you could turn it. And that's going to raise this wood piece and let the water go through. And that will activate the wheel. Now we're going to do a shortcut here. What you're supposed to do is go up that thing and then climb your way to the top. And then at the top, there is a handle which you use. You put on the zip line and you zip line across. But we're going to go up the wheel. It's pretty easy to do this. If you don't want to do this, you can go up that way with the zip line. But I think this way is easier. So we're going to do the roll trick. So you just climb up, grab as high as you can, jump on the fence, and then grab on the wall. And then what you need to do is let go with the left hand, and then roll, and then grab again. Make sure you grab at the same height. Don't grab too low. You don't want to go into the water. And just keep doing this. You just let go with one hand, let go with the other. It's a really cool and easy trick to do. It's very helpful in this game. And just keep rolling until you get right by the wheel. And you should be able to grab it when rolling. So I didn't grab it there. I'm going to do one more roll and my right hand should be able to grab it. 
and there we go i'm on the wheel and now i'm jumping over to the house i think it's an easy way to get up there you don't have to do that you could take the zip line if you want the zip line is going to take you right over to that room and we need to get to that room but i'm going to actually show you another way we can get there it's actually really simple just drop down and now you want to hold out your arms and you want to fall into the water it's going to drop you right in front of that room and you can grab on and pull yourself up so just drop into the water have your arms up ready to grab there we go grab it and pull yourself up we need to get into this room for an achievement you need to clean this room out you need to take all the furniture in this room and throw it out so pick up everything and then just throw it out the way that we came in so most of them are easy the two big objects are a little awkward and annoying but yeah, just throw out everything. There's also on the bed a few little items. I recommend throwing these out before throwing out the big things. There's a chance the achievement will trigger as you're throwing out the bed. We're going to save the bed for last. So just throw out the blanket and the pillows before doing the bed and the desk. So there we go. Everything is done. The desk is really awkward and annoying. It's a lot easier if you have somebody. But doing it solo is possible. Just throw it out. And then we have the bed, which is also annoying and awkward, but just pull it out as best as you can until you eventually get it out. And once you have all the furniture out and on the ground and not in the room, the achievement will pop. The achievements are delayed sometimes in this game, so I'm not going to show them pop, but it should pop. And once it does, we can move along, but just wait there and make sure it does. If you need to go back in the room, you can fall in the water again. But now we're going to go this way. Follow the barrels. We're actually going to jump on top of one of them. So jump on top. Just stand on top. And then to the right, you'll see some stairs. We're going to jump over this way. And go up here. Now follow it around. You're going to see a switch back here. A lever. You're going to pull it to the side. That's going to move this wood piece and change the path of the barrels. And now that the barrels are going the other way, we're going to jump on the barrel again. And just ride it down the river a little bit. You can actually steer it a little bit by walking side to side. But we don't need to go too far. Over here on the left is some grass. We got to jump over here. And then pull yourself up. And then in this area, there is a wheel. And we need to get some barrels with this wheel. When you spin it, it's going to capture some of them and lift them up. Now we're actually going to skip this part, but I'm going to show you what to do. So you just capture two barrels and then one by one, you're going to bring them up the stairs. And then you have to put them on this balance beam thing here and that will raise the other side and then you could jump across. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do my spin trick across. I feel like it's faster and easier. Just jump on the wall and spin across. There is these shutters that make it a little bit awkward, but it's still really easy to do. Just be careful. And then just keep spinning across till you get to the other side. And then eventually we can grab the ledge and pull up. Nice and easy. All right, again, we're going to skip this area too. What you're supposed to do is take out all these barrels and drop them down. You pull them out and then drop it down here and it will make a path that you can climb across. But it's so much easier just to do the spin trick on the wall. Sometimes jumping on the barrels is such a pain too. So it's like all that work to put the barrels down there and then you have to try to get across. It's so much easier just to do this spin trick. And there we go. We're on the other side. Now we're going to climb through this window here. Now this next part's a little annoying. There's a barrel that keeps rolling down. It might hit you and knock you off. And then you're going to fall down and be on this wood. If you get hit and knocked off again, this is where you're going to end up. So what we need to do is make our way up this ramp. You want to hug the left wall. When the barrel gets close, just grab the wall with your left hand. Then let go and just keep making your way up. You could tap A to kind of skip and jump up a little faster. The hardest part is getting over these holes. Just wait for the time and then jump and grab and wait and then do it again. Just keep making your way up. Just make sure you don't fall down because then you'll be back at that board at the beginning. And eventually you can make your way to the top here up the stairs. And now we're going to get our next achievement. You want to grab this torch here. 
And then once you get it out, bring it up the stairs. And at the top of the stairs, you're going to see some sticks that we can light on fire. Just be careful going up here. Light these sticks on fire. And that's going to give us the achievement. So you can wait for it to pop. It might be a little delayed. Once you get the achievement, we're going to go down this bridge. Now you could swing across this lantern, but I find it easier just to jump across like this. And just keep making your way across. And at the end, there's a catapult. We need to turn the catapult. So just grab it and keep turning it. You need to face it towards the right more. You'll see there's like a crack. And that's the way that you need to uh, face it. Towards this way, there's an island over there. Once you have it set up, you're going to turn this and crank it so it's ready to go. Once it's ready, you want to get in the catapult. Just climb inside. Then you want to pull this lever on the right side, pull it up, and it's going to shoot you across. Now for this, you need to just jump inside one of these and pull yourself over with the chain. Just grab the chain from the front and then just walk and just keep pulling yourself across. Now that we're across, we need to take a boat. There's a few different boats here. We're going to take the ones on the left. They're the rowboats. Now I want to give a shout out to Cheetah Guides for this really cool trick to use the boat. You can actually just hang on the front and then just move with your sticks and that will move the boat. It's so much better than actually trying to row it. So just grab the front like right over here and then you could just move the boat with your left and right analog stick, which is so much better. So just steer it and head this way. Straight ahead, there's this cave. Now, we're going to get this next achievement for going to the hidden island. So, we have to go through the cave and around and all the way down to the island. But as we go through this cave here, we're going to pass by where we need to go and get the checkpoint. So, just make sure you get the checkpoint. I just got it. It said saving at the top right. Now, like I said, we're not going to go here yet. Just keep going straight through the cave and just follow it around to the right. And after you pass this corner here, you're going to see an island straight ahead. There we go. That island all the way down there straight ahead. That's where we need to go. So just keep going straight all the way down there until you get to it. And once you get on that island, we'll get an achievement. Make sure your head is high enough. You don't want to go too low or else you'll drown and be respawned. But just keep going straight until you get there. And then once you get there, we'll be on the island and just wait there until the achievement pops. It might be delayed, like I said, and it's not going to show up on screen. But once it does pop, what you want to do is just jump into the water and that's going to kill us and bring us to the checkpoint to the one that we passed by before. And that's the next place that we need to go. All right, this is the final part right here. What we need to do is just collect three different pipes. The first one is right over here. So we're just going to push down these pillars and then the pipe's going to fall. We're going to pick up the pipe and put it in the right place. So now just pick it up and follow where I go. We're going to go across to the other side. Alright, so here's where the pipe goes. Just hook it in the right way. And then the next pipe is actually back here. So just grab it and then we're going to bring it inside and put it where it needs to be. We're 
can take it over this way. And right here is where it needs to go. Just put it in the right way. And then the next one is up there. So we need to climb across going up this way. Now you can try to climb over these or you can use them like monkey bars. I wasn't able to climb up, so I'm going to do it like monkey bars. It's pretty easy. Just do one hand and the other. But climbing over them is actually the easier way. I'm going to do it on this next one. So just climb up and pull yourself up. And then just skip across. And then over here is the pipe. So just jump up here and grab it. And then jump down with it. This is the final pipe that we need. Jump down and we're going to put it in. It's over here by the red one. Right over here. Just put it in correctly. And then once you put it in, we're going to hit this switch over here and that's going to turn on the water. And now that the water's on, the gate's going to open up. And these barrels are going to start coming by. We just need to get into a barrel and just ride it to the exit and we're done. So just wait for one to be lined up. You could jump inside it or even just hang off of it. doesn't matter. But just make sure that you're above water so you don't drown. And then once you go out this waterfall here, Niagara Falls style, it's going to finish the level and you'll be done with the port level and you're going to get your final achievement. And that's it guys. That's the walkthrough for the port level. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. Leave a like if it did and I'll catch you next time here at Achievement Land.